Please tell us your name, where you're from, and what do you do? I'm Shana Chacon. I am a therapist at La Europa Academy, and I open Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm Janet Hooten. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I am a full-time wife and mother. And I'm Karen Greenblatt. And I am from uh, Orange County, California, and I'm currently a substitute teacher, uh, special ed. Why did you choose Belize to volunteer? We were offered an opportunity to come and do some humanitarian work, and um, and so this was um, a place that was provided through our program. How was the U.S. communication prior traveling? The communication was um, directed through our program director at La Europa Academy, and so she was able to get the itinerary and everything that we needed to do here and was able to pass it on to us. How was the service the local staff and coordinator provided to you while in Belize? Um, service was excellent. Uh, we had very solid communication, um, very accommodating, very friendly, very kind. Mm. What was a typical work day like? We would uh, get up early and have breakfast uh, with the children at 7.30, uh, help with the uh, cleanup uh, after breakfast, uh, spend time around the campus um, pitching in and uh, finding projects to do. Currently we are um, painting one of the girls' dorms, um, beautifying it, um, clean up around the, the campus, um, some of our guys um, doing some of the heavy duty lifting and uh, labor, uh, helping out in the uh, child care and um, different work, um, then lunch at 11.30, some more projects in the afternoon. Uh, there was also time to uh, go off campus, um, do some exploring uh, of Belize and uh, the surroundings. And um, dinner at 5.30 and um, spend some more time with the children. Um, what was the most surprising thing you experienced while volunteering in Belize? The most surprising experience? The, the way the children would come to us and interact with us as, um, as if they've known us forever and um, just become very engaged with what we were doing and being very open to the activities and what we had to offer them. Tell us a bit about your accommodation and meals. Um, you stay in a dormitory style stead setting with bunk beds. Um, in our particular house, there's 10 volunteers with four bedrooms and two bathrooms. Um, there's a shower and running water. It's primitive, but it's comfortable. Um, there's no air conditioning, so you just need to be prepared to uh, come and deal with the heat. But uh, everything that it was necessary was provided. What was the most challenging thing you experienced while volunteering in Belize? Um, some of the, the communication with the children is somewhat challenging. Um, their English is uh, a little difficult to understand. Um, that's personally what I found a little, um, uh, the most difficult uh, part, but uh, a smile and a hug gets you uh, um, just as, uh, as far as, um, you know, really communicating. What type of donation can other volunteers bring for the program? Our program uh, or brought snacks, um, we did an Easter egg hunt and provided candy and just fun activities. We brought balls and jump ropes and flip flops and a GoFundMe was set up um, for a monetary uh, funding and we were able to supply the pantry with needs and purchasing supplies for the different work and things that we were doing around the camp. Are you willing to speak to other potential ABV volunteers? I would be happy to share our experience with others. Uh, there's really nothing negative to say, but it would be helpful, I think, for people that have not been here before to talk to someone just to know what to expect. Okay. Yeah. Any tips for future volunteers coming to Belize? Uh, just Come prepared to um, help, uh, come with an open mind and willing hands and uh, come prepared to 
sweat and um, deal with um, an occasional bug bite. Thank you for volunteering in Belize and we hope to have you back with us soon. Thank you. Thank you.